Hi everyone, set 7.5 has been out for a couple of days on PBE, and so today I wanted to give you a video going over some of the best comps that I have had the most success with, and some ones that I'm still working on. First one up, we got Lagoon with Soam Carry. It's probably my favorite comp, just because it's pretty easy to play, and Soam's also a pretty fun carry to play in the late game. It also has a pretty good early to mid game, since you have both Talia and Kai'Sa to use as item carriers uh, for Soam. The whole idea with this is that you use the extra Lagoon uh, loot to get to level 8 as soon as possible and then level to 8 for this board where you run Zoma as your main carry and then you have kind of Zoe as your secondary carry. And then Seraphine and Silas are great support units. So later into the game, towards the very end game, you want to drop down to just 3 Lagoon simply because the trait barely gives you any extra stats onto the Zome and the Malphite, Zac and Seraphine are not going to be doing that much for you. So that could, for example, just look like this, where you're dropping Malphite and Zac for Bard and Soraka. Or it could look something completely like this, where you're just completely pivoting into a legendary dragon board. It all depends on what you need with that comp, so just keep in mind that you want to get away from 6 Lagoons eventually if you want to win the game and not just get a top 4. So yeah, looking back at this, the best augments are blue batteries, because then you can drop blue buff. Even just blue battery 1 is enough to drop blue buff, but running him with only 40 mana, I feel that you need blue buff in that case. But if you have blue battery 1 or 2, then you're good to go to drop this item. And then the rest of the items are just AP items, so you can go crit, or you can go the uh, standard Archangel's Giant Slayer route, or Death Cap. You know the drill, those, those items. And then throw your tank items on Silas, he's kind of going to be solo tanking, and then you remake him once you pivot into the, uh, to the Dragon Board later. And then you throw any mana items on Zoe or Seraphine. So the next one up is Bonky Kong or Wukong Reroll. The whole idea here is that you use Wukong as your main carry and then you slow roll at level 5 with this board. And then you use Warriors to make him deal a bunch of damage and then Jades to make him get a ton of attack speed. And once you hit Wukong 3 star, you want to get to level 8. Your level 8 board will depend a little on what you have in terms of augments. But you definitely always only want to add in Shio Yu. And then you're here your 6 out of 5 Jades. You just need one more for 7 Jades. So we could just add in, for example, Soraka and then go... Go for seven jades uh, but usually you always need seven uh, or four warriors sorry so i usually like to always add in pantheon also because he is a great tank and then i also act like to add in twitch for the armor reduction and the extra attack speed he gives so this is a pretty good uh, level eight board but you could also go with the nine jade or seven jade one sorry as for items on wukong you want rfc this is to make him stay a little away from all the cc and also because we're running basically only melee champions this is going to make sure that he always has a champion to attack and he's not going to get stuck in the middle of the map because he has no unit in range. This also gives him a ton of attack speed and also scales really well off the Jade statue as well. And then the last two items want to be any AD items. So for example, IE and Hurricane work great, IE and Deathblade work well, Deathblade, Hurricane work great. But you generally want items that give you raw AD or scales off a of raw AD. Then you also throw your tank items on Pantheon or Shio Yu later. As for Augments, obviously Featherweights is great in any reroll one cost comp. And then Celestial Blessing is also great to give us a little bit of healing. Jay doesn't give us that much healing, gives us 4% healing and 7% on uh, 5 and 7. So Celestial Blessing will definitely make it so that we're not we're not going to die from slash damage with Wukong. And then Combat Training is great to get more AD into Wukong. Also the Scoped Weapons Augment is pretty insane in this comp as well. Uh, probably the best augment for this comp, but this website doesn't have that augment in it yet. Next up we got some Guardian Mystic Kai'Sa reroll action. And with this, you slow roll at level 6 with this board, go for Kai'Sa 3-star, Braum 3-star, and Zac 3-star. And then you use uh, basically some items for Kai'Sa. So you can also, if you're contested with this, it's very easy to just pivot into Lagoon instead of uh, rerolling for this. But Kai'Sa essentially uses the same items as Soam, only that she really likes Archangels, since her spell makes her scale better and better into the fight, and then the Guardians also help us scale. Then you also have your tank items on, uh, any tank items on Braum. I like Braum over Zac just because his shield is so powerful. Then your level 7 with this comp is to replace uh, Leona with Itis. And now we're level 7. And then at level 8, I usually just like that in Bard. Another option also is to not play Itis and keep keep the Leona and then add in Yasuo for Dragon Mancers. You can put that on uh, Kai'Sa. And then you also kind of get like a secondary carry with Yasuo. And then the last champion can kind of be like whichever utility champion want, like Bard again. Or for example, you add in a Soraka. As for Augments, Heroic Presence is insane in this comp since we have so many strong Guardians. Ludens Echo is also great since she has very low mana. Also Blue Battery, so we can cut this item. And then Jeweled Lotus as well is great, so we can go IE on Kai'Sa and then just make sure her spell always crits. So next up is 6 Dark Flight. Here we're sacrificing Kiana because she's kind of our weakest unit. And then she is giving a Titan result to Rengard, Swain, Rel, and Aphelios, getting a ton of value here. And then this comp kind of runs dual carry with Rengar and Tyrant Swain, and you can also chuck AD items on Graves as well. 
And then you run also Hecarim as a kind of utility slash tank. On Rengar, since he is an assassin, you almost always want IE. And then you either go BT or you can go some other items as well that you don't necessarily have to have healing. If you have some healing items, then you can get away with not running BT. Kind of same idea with Wolverine Swain, but you kind of want to frontline him because of his spell. And then he just also uses healing items very well. So I also like going like BT, Archangels, and Swain just to also help him stall. And the best augments are Cavalier Unity is pretty insane, especially on like Rengar and Swain, especially Graves as well. And then first aid kit is nice, it's running so much healing in this comp, and these also have a couple of shields. And then second win as well, just to make sure they stay alive and heal up. Now we are sacrificing a Titan's Resolve, because that just works the best overall on all the units. But some other combinations that are pretty cool are, for example, the ZZ Rot, giving everybody a ZZ Rot. You're getting one here, and then four others here. In that case, you kind of want to frontline the Aphelios, because the ZZ Rot goes on him immediately, and then he, he will get sacrificed, and then the ZZ Rot will spawn over here. You get a ton of value from this uh this item if you put it on it also sephir can work although it's pretty awkward sometimes you sephir so many units that there's like no high value units to kill so it's a bit awkward to use therefore you are generally fine just using a titans but you can also in some like weird scenarios you can also go for like for example a zeke's like here you're essentially giving rengar like 90 percent attack speed through the zeke's the same thing with swain as well uh, so get a little bit creative with this but generally titans is what i've seen most people build and then I've seen some people experiment with the R items, but I've seen mixed success. So next up is Guild Ragewing Zaya. We're kind of running a mix of Shivana and Zaya carry here. It's pretty easy to play six Ragewing now because we got a lot of great units here with Hecarim, Rakan, and uh, Zaya. And then we get plus three from Shivana to get six Ragewing in. And then we also run Zippy just because he gives us so much guild. And then we run Twitch as well to give Zaya more attack speed and more guild. You can also replace him with Jace uh, to give Shapeshifter to Shivana and jace also gives uh, ad and ap uh, with his guild which is really valuable for Zaya especially and also for shivana so it just depends on kind of if you already hit your shivana and have great items then you want to play jace but while you're still all in on Zaya carry you want to play twitch over the jace the best items are anything that makes Zaya deal more damage and then guilds as well is insane in this comp and then cavalier crest is also insane on zippy because he will dash a ton in this comp so he will he will keep propping it a ton which is really nice so next up is kind of like the level nine end game board that always is going to win you games it's very expensive obviously and then we're running this is a level nine board here we're running four dragons so we get plus one uh, team size that allows us to put in both bard and lisa at level nine and then we're running terra in the front line probably the best solo tank besides Ida's. then we run bard for the aoe installing shield you to give us mystic and to give us a bit more attack speed on the aushin then shivan is just a great secondary carry and then we're running lee sin as well just to give us four uh, tempest but if you get tempest heart you can drop him for another legendary or you can drop him and bar to go fire five dragons you already know the ocean items you need to have zojin you really want archangel since he takes quite a long time before you ult and then gunblade is also really nice on him terra is a bit in interesting they scale with both armor and mr so stoneplate is really great on them but that basically just makes them deal more damage so if you don't really need damage so you can just put standard tank items on terra and still do fine and uh, the best augments for this comp are basically Econ Augments or plus one Tempest. So next up is Astral Lux reroll. Uh, they change it to five Astral and you just slow roll at level six, try to three star all the Astrals, and then you play Silas in the front to be your main tank. Pretty standard. Items for Lux are Sojin or Blue Buff, and then we really like healing since we're not running that many tanks in this comp. And then we want a third AP items like Archangel or Jewel Gauntlet. Once you hit your board, you have a lot of different options. You can just chuck in, for example, a Siphon uh, to get four Whispers in. Or you can, for example, play Pantheon and uh, Chase. So here you're get, getting Shapeshifters and you're also getting getting two Whispers in so you can shred resistances with this. That and also if you had a Zoe, you might want to go for five mages like so. That's completely fine. Just depends on what you need. I haven't played this comp that much, so I don't know what like the best level at seven and eight are. But I have seen people have, to have some success with it. And then obviously Featherweights, whenever you're playing one and two cost reroll, these are the best. First aid kit as well. More shielding here and more healing here, and then trade sector to hit faster. All right, next up is six dark flight. This is a very experimental comp, so if you want to test out something different, you want to play this. Just fast eight, and then put a ZZ Rot as the sacrifice with a Seraphine to give uh, a solo evoker. And the whole idea here is that you're essentially getting more than 10,000 HP for free, uh, since the ZZ Rot will spawn immediately here, and then it'll pop on all these four units. And that should give enough time for Aesol to stall and then kind of one shot and deal a ton of damage with Ascension. And then you use other Augments like Second Wind and Cybernetic Shell to stall for even longer. But then again, this is kind of a experimental build that I, I haven't tested this out too much. I played it in one game and got like fourth. So 
test this out if you want to try something different and interesting, but not if you want to just win games, you know. And lastly, it's a build that I started testing out yesterday, uh, which is kind of like a Pantheon Siphon Carry, where you go like deep into Whispers. Again, I haven't played enough for this to know if it's like actually good or not, and like what the best items for Pantheon are. But if you want to test out something different, where you're kind of running like a very tanky carry that gets a ton of stats through Whispers and then will just shred people with a spell, this is the comp for you. Uh, I think that BT is definitely necessary, and then I like IE for the scaling off the raw AD, and then I also like Titans just to give it more stats, and then obviously you know your Siphon items, you go BT, QSS, and then either Titans or another Rage Blade uh, on him. And then since we're running a couple of warriors, so I want TM on. And then second one is really insane because you got a lot of high HP targets here. And then Whisper Heart is nice because then you can drop Syra for another unit. And also if my voice sounds a bit different, it's because I've been sick for the past couple of days. Usually I make this video almost right after the new PBE set has come out. Uh, but now it's been a couple of days and it's because my voice has just been absolutely not good. And now it's like good enough for me to at least make this video. So thank you so much for watching and then I'll catch you in the next video.